Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a grand solar minimum update on Thursday, August 16th, 11.16 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Cuchino Erabu Jima is still active, and evacuations are taking place. You can see Popo is active. This is live. Sinabung. as well as Stromboli down in the bottom right corner. Now this is being provided by Volcano YT, who is on top of things. If you haven't been here, give him a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your coverage, Volcano YT. We're going to come back to this uh, in just a moment. There has been a link with cosmic rays and mortality. We'll get to that if you stick with us. Welcome to the Grand Solar Minimum, which comes to the town of La Veta, Colorado. It's been the summer of things to come for small town La Veta. First extreme drought struck the region, then the spring fire forced people to flee, and now what many longtime locals are calling the worst hailstorm in living memory has left significant damage throughout the town. Thank you, Electroverse. The storm hit around 7 p.m. Tuesday evening, dropping baseball-sized hail throughout the community, lasting about 10 minutes and pummeling any surface the hailstones came in contact with. Vehicles across the town were battered by the storm. Dents, broken mirrors, and brake lights. Cracked windshields were all reported. Even the school buses have been put out of service. Look at the pictures. Amazing. The Watcher's News Brief, August 16th. Earthquake swarm in southern Italy. We'll get to that. Look at that. Five magnitude today, as well as multiple other quakes. Stromboli active. Colorado Springs hailstorm caused second highest damage total on record in Colorado. The August 6th storm that we covered with huge hail over four inches, over softballs, caused 172.8 million in damage. Worst hailstorm in memory hits La Veda. We just talked about it. Hundreds of cars flooded. Numerous water rescues in Oklahoma City. Check out the flood safety. Yeah, she's smoking. Landslide hits Ethiopia's Amhara, leaving eight people dead. This is August 16th. If you haven't seen, check out USGS HBO scientist in charge giving a Kilauea eruption lull analysis. It was spectacular. Excellent. Complete. It was thorough. It was perfect. She did an excellent job. And if you want the latest, there's still some cracking and some heat and some lava flowing. But we're watching. We're waiting. Lulls like this have happened in the past. Floods in Colombia's Mocoa forced 30,000 people to evacuate. New EF. Three fire NATO in Reading was filmed on July 26. Check out the footage. Whew. Holy macaroni. That's not a cannoli. That's a tornado roly poly of the fire NATO variety. Fantastical. Little pause action. Let's get back to it. Fire NATO much? <laughs> anyway, we're probably going to de demonetize by that. Death toll from the Lombok 7.0 surged to 460. More than 100 tons of dead sea creatures have washed up in Florida this month. Ugh. Shoveled up from the smelly deserted beaches and tourist areas along Florida's southwest coast as a result of the harmful algal bloom. Just in the past week, 12 dolphins washed ashore in Sarasota. Typically the toll seen in an entire year. It's physically and mentally exhausting, said Gretchen Lovewell, who's in charge of a skeleton crew at Mont Monte Marine Laboratory. It collects dead and distressed sea turtles. Did you hear about parts of the Dubes River in Franche Comte? It dried up after large cracks appeared in the riverbed. Now I guarantee Mr. BBB is going to cover this. And that's tonight's first boom. Wait for it. It's parsing. We're getting a new computer after the 21st. It's going to be luxurious.
And that's a boom. Yeah, check it out. Very warm Mediterranean Sea, severe weather in autumn. Check out the heat in these inner inlets. Shallow M66 heat hits Japan. We'll get to it. Downgraded by the USGS. Unexpected surge of water vapor in the mesosphere. Prolonged Noctilucian clouds. We've talked about it. And the Kerala death toll jumps. We're going to get to it. National Weather Service storms in the east. Monsoon fire weather out west. A slow-moving frontal system will bring strong to severe storms and locally heavy rain from the plains to the northeast. Monsoon moisture shifts to the east with portions of the southern plains may produce severe excessive rains across portions of the high plains and desert southwest. We'll be watching that closely. Fire watch up in the northeast, uh, northwest here. Click on your county for more info if you're worried. Now, the Kerala death toll jumps to 106, 150,000 people homeless in the worst floods in nearly 100 years. These people, although smiling, yes, they're totally fluxed. And we mean cosmic rays. Maine, check it out. All-time highs. The death toll from Kerala's worst floods in nearly 100 years has jumped to 106 on August 16th. There are now 1,331 camps open across the state, providing temporary shelter for 147,000 people. Seismic update. We have had the fourth and fifth 6.0 in the last three days. The drought is over in the sixth magnitude. We've had another quake just popping off as I started the video, M5.2. That's near Tanaga Volcano in Alaska. This is even closer. It's only 60 kilometers south. So we're going to be watching Tanaga closely. Some West Coast activity happening since we started 3.4, just south of L.A. Now let's talk about the Iwo Jima. Exacta right here, 6.0, popping off at 1821 UTC, and one minute later, boom, 6.4. Textbook, pre-quake, quake. Now, we should be seeing some aftershocks from this, but we're not. So we're going to be watching this closely. This could be volcanic activity in this ridge region. I took a look here. There are seamounts here. If you just blow it up, you can check for yourself. Now, seamounts occur uh, on these plate boundaries, often forming chains. Boom, 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 boom. Those are underwater volcanoes right there. Oh, we lost it. Whew. That's what she said. <laughs> and here you can see a chain of seamounts clearly being fuzzed out. Boom, 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 boom. Potential seamounts right in this quake region. Now they're fuzzing it out. <laughs> the powers that be do not want me to do the geology. And that is a ticker tape parade. Boom. Come on, give me a boom, man. That's a boom. Smoke them if you got them. So we're still waiting on a major quake eight or greater to be kicking off in just the coming weeks. Could happen any time. Let's finish this update. Bear with me. Oh my goodness, we're slowing down. Thank you, UK uh, Volcano YT, for the Cucino Irabu Jima multi view. Awesome. Uh, nothing significant happening. So we're going to shut that down to get us a little bit more bandwidth here. And that's a boom. Yes. It's one of the lamest booms ever. I'm sorry. But we're trying to get a little variety in here. Cuchino Erabu Volcano remains active as we've been talking about. And here we have the absolute Japanese, yes, confirmation. Japan's meteorological agency is warning that the volcano Cuchino Erabu Island in the country southwest remains active despite a decline in the number of volcanic earthquakes. Now, earlier today on that live stream, we did see a puff occurring. And hopefully the residents are out of harm's way. Volcano, worldwide volcano news update. Dukono, Agung, and Sabankaya all active today. Volcanic ash from Dukono. Volcanic ash from Agung. We watched it erupt a little serpent-like plume earlier. 
three of them I, I witnessed today, as well as Popo, Krakatau, Sakura Jima, and Ibiko. We're waiting for the big one. This is just a sideshow. The soap opera. We're getting to the cosmic rays and the paper. But let's parse this up. What's happened? Check it out. Very Vulcan of Thera has finally been raised. Now this is uh, back in the Minoan. Now erupted. Three ring data. And we're freezing right now. So this. Uh, Man, why do they do this? To we need a computer. Soon. Now let's go to the GISP 2. Right here is zero A. This is 2,000 years ago, right as the Roman Empire was collapsing. Zero. Now, what they're claiming is 3,600 years ago, I believe. And let's get to the date here. Sometime between 1,600 and 1,525, around 3,600 years ago, this huge volcano went off. Three thousand six hundred years ago. So while it was warming during this solar max towards the Minoan warm, at thirty six hundred years ago, a volcano erupted, and the temperature dropped point seven degrees in just decades, and then it recovered back into the Minoan warm. And that is what we're waiting for. Are you picking up what we're putting down? They just determined it from tree rings. Come check it out. We can barely use the computer, so I don't know how we're going to check it out. I tried to shut it down. Yes, Chrome is not responding. So let's get rid of this because it's gone black. I have no idea why. That stratosphere. The cosmic rays has been. I can't do anything to my audio. We're back. This is coming from Physics World, and we do have the paper on this. So we're back up here. Long term association between, and this is good news because I can finish the update. It's going to be a little long with a lot of white screen. Now, from Physics World here, there has been a correlation between cosmic rays linked to increased mortality. And this is coming out of a paper. I'm going to leave you links to this article here. The intensity of secondary cosmic rays reaching Earth is significantly correlated with mortality rates. We just erased the graphic, but you know what we're talking about. This is coming from the city of Sao Paulo in Brazil. <coughs> now, here's the scientific nomenclature, specifically the paper published 1 February 2018. The long-term association between the intensity of cosmic rays and mortality rates in the city of Sao Paulo. And it concludes that shit is bad. Cosmic rays in blue, up, down, up, down, up, down. And it, there is a correlation here with mortality. So correlation is not causation, but we are at all-time cosmic ray highs, and it's only going to continue to increase the mortality rate an updated solar cycle 25 prediction with AFT, the modern minimum, the modern minimum, according to Lisa Upton. Dr. Lisa Upton and David H. Hathaway are calling the minimum. Cycle 25. I can't even pop. Cycle 25 will be slightly weaker than 24, making it the weakest cycle on record in the last 100 years. Weak cycles are preceded by long extended minima. We may not reach the cycle 24-25 minima until 2021. Now, 18, 19, 20, 21. That's three years of increased cosmic rays, cooling Earth, record snows, and the unraveling of the empire. We are currently, beginning with cycle 24, in the midst of a modern Gleisberg cycle minimum. So the mainstream is now calling out that we're in a Gleisberg minimum. 
Lee Wheelbarger and I are under the impression that it's more typical of the Dalton, but it's all semantics. It's too early to determine if it will remain a short Gleisberg like the Dalton or if the sun will produce a long grand minima like the Maunder or what we're calling the Eddy minimum and many of us are predicting to be even worse. Here is the paper. You're welcome. Check it out. It has butterfly diagrams and all kind of funny pictures you can go look at and be amazed. Check out the space weather, solar wind increasing as we speak. Coming from Discover. And we've been in geomagnetic instability, so we're going to probably pop back up into yellow. And that's good for Aurora watchers. Here's the North America forecast. 70% in yellow here moving across Ontario through the upper portions of Canada tonight. Get out there. Whew. Imagine that. Facts plus truth. Whew. What a night. <laughs> <coughs> and we made it through, even though we got jammed up. Now, here's the total solar irradiance. You are here. Lisa Upton just told us what's going on. And they just blacked that out. <laughs> It's going to get worse as TSI drops. Cosmic rays will increase and the cool sun begins on cycle 25. The mainstream has just said we have entered the modern minimum. It's true. Cycle 24 was the beginning. Here, the second double peak, that was the beginning of the modern minimum. And it is confirmed now by consensus that cycle 25 will be weaker than 24. That was, was predicted years ago. Start preparing now. Those are the facts. And that's the truth. And that's a boom, man. I hope you got something out of the video. Times are changing. The Guess 2 Ice Core has t shown us that the empire is now failing. And you're living it. Are you ready? Be safe. We love you.